He's a go with the race, so what is it, the 118th running, uh, you know, we go back, so the horse that won the second Cox Plate, Wold, second ever Cox Plate, won this race as a two-year-old, Eurythmic, who's, we, you know, we've talked about probably the greatest with Northerly, West Australian horse of all time, won this race, so it's, it's been the championship race, and as Richo said earlier, a Group 1 until 1998, Bomber Bill won the race then yeah. as a Group 1, now a Group 2, but it carries $500,000 in prize money, and it's an absolute grand final for Western Australian two-year-olds. In 1990, uh, a horse, uh, yeah, obviously a two-year-old, because that's a two-year-old race, Umatilla yeah. won the race and then came across absolute ripper, that mm. horse, year after year. What a great career he had. Yeah, no, a, a star, that's for sure. So this two-year-old race, as we said, Group 2, 500 grand with all the history, and then we go back to Mornington for the final race on the program, and then we come back for all the build-up to the $5 million quokka, which uh, has put together an outstanding field again today. You know, Group 1 winners in the Quokka include, well, Overpass is a Group 1 winner, a Group 1 winner in Waitak from New Zealand, Bella de Patino, a Group 1 winner, Amelia's Jewel, a Group 1 winner. So a couple still to come up, Darren McCauley, our caller, and uh, we've got a short price favourite. So Diamond Dancer behind the stalls at the moment. Terrific crowd. Lizzie was packed last year, wasn't it? And, and again, you can see as we get in towards the heart of the grandstand, what, what a turnout it is. It, well, it creates so much interest because of the Eastern State horses up against the homegrown talent in horses like Amelia's Jewel. I know she was bred overseas, but she's the home-trained, home-ridden talent that was there last year. So it just set the scene to something very, very special. So here's Darren McCauley for the Caracatta Plate of 2024. First of them to go from the inside, bustling, got out very quickly, and so did Blue Rocket. Driving forward to find beautiful, absolutely high tailing across from the extreme outside, but bustling's going to hold the lead. Up running fourth is Earthstorm, and then Siren Assault. She found herself a little wide, though, settling down. Now eases back, tries to find a bit of cover, pushing through underneath of her Prince Epaulette, a length away, big shots, followed by Diamond Dancer, then Heavy Metal further back. They were followed by Ripper Farouk, well back in the field then golden kathleen as they head by the 550 and likewise sir dream a lot and also near the tail end of the field you will be the one at the 450 here in the caracatta the heavily backed odds on favorite doing it easily for shin he's in cruise mode coming around the turn bustling two lengths now to find beautiful blue rocket earth storms in pursuit followed further back siren assault but bustling by the 200 is well clear it's bustling by three on earth storm it's all bustling bustling pulling away from them. Shin's hardly had to move on Bustling and Bustling brains them in the Karakata. What an effortless win by Bustling from Earthstorm. Blue Rocket to find Beautiful. It was close there for the minor placing. In behind them came Siren Assault and deeper out Golden Kathleen. Next time, big shot, Sir Dreamalot. Then Prince Epaulette. Heavy Metal, you will be the one and Diamond Dancer. And last to greet the judges, Ripper Farouk. Found out why he was so short, guys. He absolutely trotted in. So Blake Shin gets the job done for Daniel Morton. So Daniel Morton, uh, top trainer that he is. So, And that was just uh, a great win. So he wins back-to-back, -back, Daniel. First, I reckon, interstate jockey says bossy about nine years ago to win a Karakata play. Yeah, well, a double for Blake Shin on the card as well so far. So he's had a fruitful day, but it was an easy ride for him. I mean, he just jumped out, put him up on speed. He's got a, looks to have a very high cruising speed. And then he seems to get them off the bit before the bend. And then he's able to really kick off of that tempo. It was a, a very much an easy watch if you backed him or if you're part of the connections because he was so strong over that concluding stages. We'll see a bit more of him, Richo, I would think for sure and certain. No, no doubting that. So, uh, gee, there have been some famous colours, haven't they, in WA racing, uh, the colours of... Uh...